Hey guys, welcome back. So on January 12th, 2021, Adobe killed the Flash Player browser plugin across all devices worldwide. Now in fairness, they've been nagging us to remove the Flash Player every day for probably two years now, but I didn't expect for them to actually build it a kill switch and force everyone to stop using it. I'm not going to argue with anyone here about how Flash is insecure and no one should use it anymore. Back in the early 2000s, when I was just starting out as a junior computer programmer, one of the first products I ever created was a web-based music player, CMS, which I call the MP3 CMS. The player that it uses was written in ActionScript for Flash, and for basically the last 20 years I've been using this website to listen to all my music while I'm at work. And, uh... Ever since January 12, 2021, every time I try to play my music, really on any browser, I get this error message in Flash that uh, I just can't play my music anymore. Now, this app was written in an ancient version of C-Sharp, ASP.NET version 2, and I just don't have the time to rewrite this whole thing all over again in Angular or React. So for me, the best solution is to just keep using the Flash player. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to keep running Flash Player applications even though the Flash Player is officially dead. So the first thing that you need to do is to head over to SourceForge and download a portable version of Firefox. It must be Firefox version 70 or earlier. The links to the files that I'm discussing here are in the video's description or you can also download a single package that already has all of this done for you. First, we want to pick the package that's applicable to the region that you're in. So in my case, I downloaded Firefox Portable 70.0 English GB, and I just downloaded that to my desktop. Again, this has got to be Firefox version 70 or earlier because this just won't work in any version of Firefox above 70. The next thing you need to do is grab a copy of the Portable Flash Player Firefox Browser Plugin. There are going to be two versions available, one that's 32-bit and one that's 64-bit. Grab the one that you need. I downloaded the 64-bit version. Then you just need to run the portable Firefox installer and pick a directory where you want the portable Firefox to get unpacked. Now, I've already done this, and I unpacked it to my desktop. And then all you need to do is open up this portable Firefox and navigate into the data plugins directory and then you just want to grab the browser plugin you downloaded and drag it into the directory data plugins now once this is here it should be working that's really all you have to do believe it or not uh, but we want to do is make sure that you don't have any other instances of Firefox running and then you want to go ahead and run your portable version of Firefox Navigate to the page that has the flash elements that you need to run. Okay, so we're going to click on a control here, and now we see our warning screen that we're used to seeing. Click run Adobe Flash, click allow, and uh, the player is now working. Flash is now working. So this is a portable solution. You can actually put this on a thumb drive if you want and carry it with you wherever you go. But uh, I hope this is helpful for you guys. We'll talk to you next time.